Howdy. Why does this always make my face look like it's the sun? All right. Welcome to, uh, what are we doing? Smoky Eye. Smoky Eye tutorial. Tutorial Tuesday. Maybe I'll make that a thing. I don't know. But I had someone ask me how to do a smoky eye. I told her I would show her and I haven't been able to, so we're gonna show you now in this kind of weird uh -oh, way. Okay. Yeah, I found my Extreme Curl Mascara. Woohoo! I <laughs> lost this and I found it today, so. And of course it was in my room somewhere in the mess. That's what happens. When you clean your room, you find stuff. Even as an adult, children. Even as an adult. Okay. So we're doing a smoky eye. Uh, if you saw my um, post earlier, you need three eyeshadows, eyeliner, and mascara. Now, the three eyeshadows can be any color you want them to be, depending on how crazy you want your look to be. But usually, you want to have a dark, a medium, and a light. Usually, for a smoky eye. Okay. And... The idea of a smoky eye is to start at your lash line and work up. You can have a smoky eye that is just your lash line top and, and bottom of your lashes. Um, you can have a smoky eye that is your full lid. You can even bring it out to a cat eye. It's all based on what you want. So we're going to do a few kinds of smoky eyes so you guys can play around and decide what kind of a smoky eye you want because it can be very subtle or it can be crazy dramatic like I don't know you're modeling for no I've got eyeliner all on my pants <sighs> hold on that's what makeup remover is for uh, so I didn't put this in the post but if you are unfamiliar with a lot of eyeliner type looks I do suggest you have um, some makeup remover handy because it's not a big deal if you make a mistake that's what makeup remover is for this is our that's not coming off. okay this is our micellular water um we have this we have another type of makeup remover and we have makeup remover wipes but it has kind of like a larger hole in the top so i just stick a q-tip in and then go around the areas around my eyes i want some help on but let's go ahead and get started so, um, for the more subtle look, it's best if you have an eyeliner that is smudgeable. Okay. This is the eyeliner that I have. It's a pencil eyeliner. I love this stuff. You can work with it when you first put it on, but after it's been on, it's pretty hard to get off. It's not waterproof, but it's still really nice. So, make sure I don't have any eyeliner all over my hands. So, unlike a lot of other looks, we're going to start with the eyeliner. If you don't have an eyeliner that's measurable, if all you have is liquid eyeliner, uh, pick your darkest shade of eyeshadow and start with that. Start with a, with like a really thin edge brush like this, or like something like this. This one's really dirty. But start with that with your darkest shade of eyeshadow, okay? So... I'm not super worried about the way this looks because we're gonna smudge it out. Okay. All right, see that? And then I need to buy some of the tea tree soap, you guys, because my brushes are in need of a good cleaning. And I've watched so many videos about our tea tree soap and how that is like the best thing to clean brushes up with. It's only five ninety nine and it lasts forever. So that's what I need to get. But I'm gonna try to get all the red. I used this the other day for my uh, cream eyeshadow. It's red. And we're not using that right now. So let's try to get that off the brush. Should probably done this prior. But I'm gonna take this as a little elf brush. I think I got it from Dollar Tree or Walmart. Nothing special about it. It does its job. I wish the bristles were a little bit longer, but you know, you gotta work with what you got. So, try to make sure that that's dry. All right, so your eyeliner you put on, we're gonna now smudge it up. Okay. Try to bring it up. 
This is brown. Black would be really good for a look like this. Okay. You see how we're just, we're smudging it up. Okay. Is smudged, smudging, is that a word? I doubt it. But here we go. And we're going to take that brown again. And we're going to apply a little extra to the corner here. Because with my eyes, I feel like it opens my eyes up if I have a really dark corner. And then it gets like lighter towards the inner eye here. So this is what we got so far. It might look a little crazy. Trust the process. Okay. If you watch any of my videos, you know it's my favorite thing to say. Trust the process. So I actually haven't picked out my three colors, but this is supposed to be a subtle. We're doing the subtle one first. So I'm going to go put the brown look of my eyeliner here. If you're watching, drop me a little emoji in the comments. I'm not even sure if I can see comments right now. Hello. Oh, I can comment while I'm, I'm, wow, that's cool. All right, so I have my favorite palette on the planet. This is our um, Wanderlust palette. And we're gonna go in with Rebel, which is a dark brown. It has kind of a cooler tone. I always like to try to blow the excess or tap it. Okay. I'm going to go over that kind of same area. Smoky eyes are all about blending. Okay. Everything needs to be well blended for it to work. All right. So that's really the really dark brown. That's going to be your darkest shade. And then we're going to go in with a lighter color. And for that, I'm going to go in with Noble. It's not a brown, it's more of an orange tone, this one right here. But it's kind of, I think, in the same family. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna kind of go over the same spot and a little higher, okay. So we've used our dark and our medium colors. But if you see, there's still a really big break between the dark and the light. So we need to blend that out a little bit more. So the noble, I'm going to try to work it into my crease. Okay. So here we are. So now I'm going to go and try to do our lightest shade. All right. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take warm, no, sorry, strobe dream, which has some shimmer in it because so far we have a very shimmerless look here. And I'm going to start in the corner and work my way out. Okay. That's looking pretty good. We're going to go back to the same brush we used before, and then we're going to try to blend that line in a little bit more. Okay. It's looking kind of distinct. We don't really want that. I'm kind of going on light circles there. <sighs> going to go back to our dark brown color. The darkest shade. And you just kind of have to play around with it till you get to where, like, oh, I like that. Okay. When you say that, you can stop. Gonna go back in with our lightest shade and sweep it through, okay? Uh, all right, now when you're working with shimmers, I have found from watching YouTube, because I'm not a professional here, that if you work with a wet brush or your finger, it works the best. So I have here, I've got our B-Fit fixing spray, which is actually a um, like a setting spray. And I'm gonna spray my brush with that. Alright, 
So it's just kind of damp. I'm going to go back into Strobe Dream. And we're just going to pat it on, okay? Pat, pat, pat. All right. There you go. So we're not done yet. We're going to go back with our eyeliner. And we're going to bring it underneath our eye. And for that, I'm going to look at my mirror here. Sorry. I'm only going to bring it halfway across the bottom because I'm going to go back in with that same brush and same like we did before, we're going to smudge it out. The key we, I really feel like to a good smoky eye is the top and the bottom lashes need to be like smoked, okay? And I, I'm really weird about my eyes, so it's best if you keep your eyes open if you can, but I get really freaked out by that. Alright, so I see I brought it in closer to the corner of my eye by smudging it. Okay. And I've actually even winged it out. So let's see. I just whoop. Um, I saw that on oh well, what was it? I think I saw it on YouTube. Somebody did that and I was like, what? Brilliant. Alright. Don't be worried about making a mess. That's what makeup remover is for. And if you don't have makeup remover, you can use Vaseline, coconut oil, anything like that will work as well. So, that's looking pretty good, I think. But we're going to take the eyeliner again and go back on the top of the eye. Because we blended it out before, so I'm bad about doing this, you guys. Hold on. Again, I'm using brown, but you can totally use black. I just like the way brown looks with my blue eyes. All right, and I'm gonna take this, dip it in my makeup remover again. Try to get the brown off. I love this micellar water stuff, let me tell you what. All right, I'm gonna go back into Noble, which is our medium color. I'm just going to get it on the very tip of the brush here, and I'm going to go under the eye again. Uh oh, so what's happening is because I cleaned my makeup brush in the micellar water, it's removing my makeup right now. <laughs> Hold on, let's let that dry. And we go back in with another brush because uh, we don't want to take anything off <laughs> yet. We might when I'm all done with this. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So looking, looking pretty, pretty good. I feel like. Okay. So here's a version of a smoky eye. Now, if you want to take it out, make it more of a cat eye, you're just gonna apply it farther away. You never wanna pass the end of your eyebrow though. Just a little heads up for you. You don't wanna do that. But we have kind of a smokier look. Now we're gonna go to the other eye and we're gonna do something um, similar, but a little bit different, okay? We're gonna go with something a little bit crazier in the color department so I'm trying to see if this is still gonna be a problem for me or not this brush let's try to dry this off a little bit okay so colors I have my eyeshadow palette here of course but I also have this new thing 
Um, this is beautiful. This is our highlighter palette, one of ours. So you have like a really pinky shade, a more like cream shade, and then a bronzy color. And I love this bronzy shade. I actually put it on my cheeks and it was like way more pigmented than I thought. But it's really pretty anyway. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is actually go in with blue this time. So we're going to do it a little bit differently. This is going to be more of a cat eye situation by the end of it. Just warning you. We're going to go back with our fluffy brush. Try to get all the stroke dream off of it. And I'm going to go in with vintage. Which is this like really deep blue color. You want to tap it or blow the excess off, okay? Okay. It's looking good. So for this one, we're going to start off on your corner. All right. This is how I usually do my eyes. If you've watched my other tutorials, I love starting off with your darkest shade in the corner, okay? And then you're gonna take your darkest shade again, you're gonna put it in um, the inner corner of your eye, okay? Whoops, you know you have this kind of crazy look going. But what do I always say? Trust the process, okay? I'm gonna look kind of crazy after just having two different eyes. I'm gonna take this all off when I'm done. <laughs> Decide which one I like best and keep it. <sighs> all right. So we're gonna bring it out even more now. Because this is kind of, you wanna, if when you're bringing it out further, unless you want a really strong cat eye look, you wanna diffuse it. Kind of like smoke, okay? You want to look like it's really kind of lightish smoky and that goes into the to the dark color as you get out here. So it looks a little faded. And that's where blending is really going to come in. Okay. And now I have to decide what shade I want to go up there. So let's evaluate here. Oh, I look so crazy right now. All right, I think I'm going to go with the bronzy shade here. Doop, doop. I have actually something similar in my eyeshadow palette. It's the rose gold. Looks pretty similar to the bronze, but I'm going to use the bronze for this because I love this formula. And I love the way my makeup smells, you guys. It's like a weird thing. Actually, I didn't even notice it until I think it was my mother-in-law. She ordered some stuff and she was like, I love the smell of that. And I was like, it smells? <laughs> it does and it's amazing. So I'm going to take this and put it in the crease. Isn't that beautiful? I love this color. It was definitely a shock when I put it on my cheeks earlier, but I love this color. Wow. Just, I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous, I think. And we're just going to bring it out a little bit. Again, don't be afraid to take it out too far because that's what makeup remover is for. Okay, you can always clean it up when you're done. But that already looks like, oh, I think I like this side better already. I could be wrong, but I'm just like, Looks so pretty. Okay, so here we go. We're just taking it out again. You don't want to go past your eyebrow, but that looks really good. So you might be thinking, Brianna, you have a big hole in the middle of your eye. What are you going to do with it? That's an excellent question. I don't know yet. <laughs> um, 
Usually you would put a shimmer right here. And I'm considering it. But we could also do something a little bit different. If we did a shimmer, I feel like maybe this middle one. Isn't that beautiful? Would be really, really pretty to put in the middle there. But give myself a little highlight. Oh my cupid smell. For real, this stuff smells so good. <laughs> Alright. But what else do I have in my little bag of tricks here? We could definitely do a brown. You could do push up, which is like a reddish uh, sparkle color. Or we could do adventure, which is also a blue. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, adventure. It's really pretty. It's like a bluish purple. Let's do that. Let's be adventurous today. Alright, so we're going to take my fluffy brush. Oh, wrong eye. I'm going to put this in the middle here. Hmm. What do you guys think about it? I feel like it's a very subtle blend. So I have it on my finger. <laughs> Pat it in. That looks better, I think. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. Everybody thinks you have to use a brush for everything. I firmly disagree with that. Or beauty blender, or whatever the new fad is. <sighs> Use your figures. Okay, well, let's try to put some of this vintage back in the inner corner here. Whoa. I feel like the vintage actually applies better with the finger. What do you guys think? Man, that's pretty. I don't know. Is this really a smoky eye at this point? I feel like maybe it's just a crazy eye look. Y'all let me know what you think. <laughs> um, I'm going to go back with the vintage with my fluffy brush. And we're going to combine everything here. Alright. So that's not just like this really big break. The break looks cool. But it's also kind of startling, you know? You want a good layer of color. Alright. That looks more smoky to me. Yeah. I think I like this one better than the other one. The other one's pretty, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like I like this one better. And let's. I know I said you only need three colors, but I'm going to go back to my highlight, actually, and apply some of the middle one here to the corner of my eye, the inner corner, because I just like this color. It's very subtle. It has kind of a pinky undertone. I think it combines with the upper one really well. And then we can't forget about the under eye, okay? So... I'm going to have eyeliner all over my pants by the end of this because I keep forgetting to put the lid on like a crazy person. Alright. Yeah, I, sharp I sharpened my eyeliner just for this video. So I'm going to be poking myself to death. And we're gonna take Are you dry enough to use yet? Okay, I think it is.
All right. So I'm thinking we can go back with the blue underneath or we can use this top color. And I think I want to use the top color just to kind of add it into the look a little bit better. So we're just going to put it on the tip of our brush here. Sorry, holding my eyes open that long is making my eyes water. <laughs> Ooh, this eye also looks, I feel like, much bigger than this eye. Interesting. Okay. Let me know what you guys think is the best here. Let's go ahead and go in with some mascara. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite mascara tricks in the book. I love the sound mascara makes when you pull it out of the tube. Like when the tube is still kind of like full. That, I don't know how to do it. Uh, I just gave my sister like, sister-in-law anxiety by making that noise. <laughs> she, she hates the slurping sounds, but what I do is I take my brush, and this is an old dry makeup wipe, and I'm just going to roll it across. I know, crazy. And I'm going to apply this. Okay. Where's my... Let's use this one. I tell you what, the, the mirror in this one is really nice. Maybe it's because this palette's new and I don't have powder all over it, but. This mascara is the bee's knees. I'm so happy I found it. I like my other one, but not as much. Like, I thought I would like the Zen mascara more than I do because some people that's their all-time favorite but not me I just feel like this makes my eyes just so incredible man I lost this because while well, the container is pretty full you can tell this mascara is a little bit older. Oh, I lost it for like two months. They say you should replace your mascara every three months. I don't know, like, necessarily why. I don't think it hurts you, really. Alright. There we have it. This one is my favorite, okay? But, so you guys have a few different ways of doing this. Let's do one more. Are you guys up for one more? Because I feel like this one was supposed to be subtle and then I went kind of crazy. So let's do one more together. Shall we? Shall we dance? One, two, three. On a bright cloud of music shall we fly? Alright, so I've got the nice cellular water on this gross thing here. Alright. Shall we then say goodnight and mean goodbye? Oh, perchance. The last little star has left the sky. Sorry, I'm singing The King and I. Or, no, Anne and the King. King and I. I don't remember. Like one of them is a cartoon, one of them is a real people one. Both are good, by the way. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. 
so we got the makeup off of this eye. I swear by that micellar water, it is so good. All right, so very similar to what we did before. We're gonna take the eyeliner and we're gonna smudge it up, okay? But not quite as far up as we did before, okay? So we're gonna start with a very thin line, unlike last time we started with kind of a, well, I said we're gonna start with a thin line and then we didn't, did we? Oh well. All right, take your brush, smudge it up. I really feel like this works better with a black eyeliner, but it's another one of my items that I can't find because I'm me. Okay. I feel like this time it's smudging a little bit lighter because of the micellar water on the, on my um, brush here. But I'm not upset by it actually. Let's smudge it out here a little bit. So this is definitely more of a, a subtle smoky eye. But the thing about it is, is that you have that kind of wispiness of a smoky eye. The kind of diffused look. It's difficult to attain because it's kind of hard to know when to stop. Okay. I'm gonna smooth it in the corner. Let's go back with the eyeliner. We're gonna draw this line here. Um Smoke it in. Okay. And do that again. Draw your line. Diffuse it. Okay. Anybody can do this. All right kind of what I'm trying to show you. It doesn't have to be hard. It can be as hard or as easy as you want it to be. Getting to love again. Getting to help you like me. Haven't you noticed? Suddenly I'm bright. Bing, bing. Because of all the wonderful and new things I'm learning about you day by day. So now we're going to, we've dipped the tip of this in the um, micellar water and we're just going to clean that line up a little bit. And then we're going to go back over the base of this with just eyeliner. Okay. Let's kind of fix that right there. And then here you have another smoky eye look. This one we have three colors going on. This one we had one eyeliner. Okay. And it looks pretty good. And we left, remember guys, we left what we had already done underneath here. So all that stuff is done already. All right, and if you wanted to put something in the corner of this eye, that would be really cool too, okay? But this is what we have. Both beautifully smoky. Okay.
I'm actually really liking this. Or like an everyday kind of smoky look. I really like it, actually. So make sure you guys comment down below. Tell me which look is your favorite smoky eye look. I was going to set this, but now I'm like, I have to do one of these eyes over. Vote down below. Tell me what eye you guys think I should keep for the rest of the day. This one or this one. And I will make a match. What you got to tell me? Is that okay? Actually, I might keep this one because I already put mascara. Yeah, I'm willing. I'm willing. If you like this one better, I'm willing to take this off and reapply my mascara and everything. You just gotta tell me, okay? You just gotta tell me. But isn't this color though up here, that like bronzy color, so beautiful? I love it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think is the best. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, here it is. Like, I lost my coffee. Um, but yeah, tell me which one you think looks better because I would like to know your thoughts. All right, and let me know what look you guys are going to try. Okay, try one. Remember, if you don't like it, makeup remover is your best friend. You can just take it right off. Okay, thank you guys.